Chello. Buddy of mine was asking about the redfish throats. So it's not really that I got to teach somebody how to fillet a redfish. A lot of y'all know that. A whole bunch of y'all know that. I probably ain't the best at it. And I really don't use my electric knife, honestly. But he bought one, so I said, I'm going to do one with the electric knife to show you that it still can work just like a regular knife. And uh, I found out that electric knife actually is easier cutting the throat out with that. But Alvin, well, here it is with the electric knife. I'm not trying to go all the way through at one time. Just ride that backbone. Once I get it on that backbone, I hold this section up, make sure I'm cutting everything off that backbone because I, I ain't the kind of person that want to cook a backbone. I'm going to make sure all the meat is on the filet and not the backbone as much as possible. Then you're going to get to this the, the, the spine. It's a little hump. If you keep going straight, you'll leave meat on that side. So what I do is I take my filet knife and I go over the hump and angle at a downward and pattern so I can do my best right here and do like this because of this spine if you hold if you go across that spine look how much meat you're gonna leave on there you gotta go down like this to make sure you keep that meat on there for length That's my half shell filet right there. I personally would say, a friend of mine, I don't know how true this is, but this section right here, I mean, it's meat. This is meat right here. But anything that's going on with the fish and the intestines and all that sort of can be absorbed by this meat, whereas this is protected from that. So I personally, and most restaurants are always going to cut this off anyway. At an angle like this, not straight down, like this, behind that rear cage. And this is a red fish on the half shell. If anybody wondering why he left the scales in there, he didn't skin it. It'll cut easier through the scales if he if he skin it. You're all right, but this is a half shell. That's discard that and see the backbone. Hardly any, really nothing left on it. It's gonna be paper thin when I do the other side.
again. If I keep going over this spine bone straight out, I leave meat on there. So I kind of want to angle it downward a little bit. Put that spine bone. Now, on this side, like so. my other fillet. As you can see, the backbone pretty much is see-through. This is the spine. That's why it's thicker. See, see straight through that thing. No need to cook it. I'll show you. Now, the throat with, the, with this, you can cut through this a lot easier. See, all this is the throat meat. I come up here. What's so ironic, I see a lot of people doing it on the red snapper and you know some other species, but I'm like, man, where's the person talking about the redfish throat? This just is good. here again folks now you had this little tissue holding it on right here like that see that then same thing this right here like that And that's your cheek meat. The throat, should I say. Now. If I said, man, that guy work here is all bloody. <laughs> yes, that all. Take off that thin membrane skin, uh, protective deal for the tissue. Now, turn it over and flatten it out like that. And um, you don't have to keep these fins on there. Especially if you're gonna put it in a freezer bag or a vacuum seal bag. It'll puncture that. So, regular knife or fillet knife, however you decide. I mean, electric knife or regular knife. Cut those off. Make it look like something, you know, a little better. Since you, some people that seeing them fins on there, throw them off, trying to eat that. This 
this is essentially your redfish throat. Right there. Cook it how you desire. Grill, fry it, just clean this off. Rinse it off, season it like you want to season it. But people swear by this uh, throat meat. It is some of the sweetest meat on a redfish. I even hear people say, and I like it, but I have people, man, people rave about, man, the filet is good, but give me the throat. And they love this redfish throat meat. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Signing off. This is Derek. This is for some of my buddies who was wanting to know about cleaning redfish for the throat meat. Big gigantic speckled trout. You get a lot out of it. You can do it like with your black drum and of course all your offshore species that you want to do it with. Red snapper especially. Okay folks. Signing off. Peace.